Okay, dear students, let us study this question. A beam of monochromatic light is incident normally on diffraction grading. The grading spacing is D. The angle between the different orders are shown. So all these are order. What is the expression for the wavelength of the light used? My dear students, first of all, be very clear about the question in diffraction grading. That diffraction grading is not different from uh, multiple slit diffraction. Like try to understand this thing. First of all, there is one diffraction which is called single slit diffraction. Single slit diffraction. And then there is a two slits. We are using two slits now. In this case, diffraction plus interference is taking place. Interference is also taking place. Diffraction is also occurring at the same time. These are the two things which are happening there. Then there is the third topic which is multiple slits. Like you're having four slits or eight slits or like you might have seen those kind of questions. In this, in those cases also, all the formulas for diffraction plus interferences are there. The only thing is that now we're also talking about the secondary maximas, but they are not playing any important role in our calculations. So multiple slit or two slit, there is no difference. Formulas are the same, angles are the same, theta is the same, lambda by d, lambda d by d, everything is same. And then we talk about the diffraction grading. So now what is happening in the case of diffraction grading? The only difference in the case of diffraction grading a multiple slit is that in diffraction grading, there are many, many type, many, many lines, uh, many number of uh, slits are there. Like, for example, diffraction grading, like uh, 600 slits in one millimeter. In multiple slits, it's like four slits or eight slits or 16 slits. But in diffraction grading, there are 600 or 1,000 slits. So that is called diffraction grading. But the formulas are the same. We are still not talking about the secondary maxima. The interference formulas are still applicable in the diffraction grading. The only thing is now that you have to find D. The D is the distance between the two slits. That you have to find. Like 600 slits in 1 millimeter. So the D will be 1 millimeter divided by 600. Every else thing remains the same. So even in this case, in the diffraction grading, we are only going to use the interference formulas. And how are we going to do that? So the interference is like, uh, this is the path difference. D sine theta is equal to N lambda. So this is constructive interference we are talking about. Simple, this is about the path difference. I think you will not be having any problem in this as per the interference is concerned. From here, we are going to use the lambda. Second order, now you see this alpha is not from zero order. We want an angle which is starting from the central maxima. That is zero order and that is beta. So we would be talking about the second order. So we just call it order, but what is this order? Order is basically the second maxima, no difference at all. So this is D sine beta is the angle that is taking place here. And we are talking about the second maxima. So N is equal to two into lambda. And thereby the wavelength is given by D sine beta divided by two. And so the answer will be B. So my dear students, don't get confused in all of those cases that I have given here, like a diffraction grading, multiple slits, and then two slits, and then single slit. Don't get confused there. All of them are majorly same. Same formulas are applicable. So let us see what is the answer given in the book. Yes, the answer is A. So this is how we do this question, my dear students. This is Professor Varun. Please subscribe to the YouTube channel. All the best.